solar panels that are mounted onto the roof? Do you have to do special things to the roof line to accommodate the weight of those panels? Um, typically, no. Uh, most most roofs, if it was built in the last um, 50 years, can accommodate the solar panels because uh, essentially the, the weight is distributed across the whole roof. And on the solar thermal panels, you don't have to do anything special as well because there's really not that much um, liquid in the panels to, to transfer the heat inside. Um, so most of the time, no, but if you have a house that's turn of the century, turn of the 19th century, you've got two by fours, which really aren't dimensionally stable, you might have to do something in addition to that. But you should have two by sixes or two by eights at, at minimum anyway. I had a question about actually how the solar panels attach to the roof themselves. Well, there's two different ways for solar thermal. Uh, the product that we use actually installs and looks like a skylight, so the roof flashes around it. For PV, which is the, the product that takes energy from the sun and converts it to electricity, there's a, a, a bracket system that attaches to the roof and basically connects, connects to your power meter. So the fun thing about that is during the daytime, if you're not using that much power, your power meter meter spinning backwards, and at nighttime, when you use the power, it's going the, in, going the correct direction. That, that's fun to watch. See your power meter spin backwards. It's like, okay, it's something, it's something's going on here. Is there are UFOs around my house, or you know, what did my electrician do wrong? Yes, sir.